Meghan Markle here. Today is June 21st, 2024. It is 2.48 a.m. I haven't been recording that much since the summer. It seems like I haven't been recording, but when I look at my list, it was, what, two days ago I didn't record? The last time I recorded, but anyway, I'll be doing a lot of things over the summer. The kids are out. I do things with them. We went hiking a couple times. And uh, I think next week we're going on, uh, where are we going? We're going somewhere. I think we're going to go camping for the, I think for like a, three or four days. And then when we come back, we're going to be doing a lot of other things. And then before the summer ends, we're going to go to Maine. We want to um, visit uh, that again. Um, but anyway, this is the back end. 4,294 subscribers. I don't remember if that, uh, what was the number the last time I recorded. So any new subscribers, welcome. Estimate revenue, $173.13. I was reading a comment the other day and someone said, uh, put the membership anyway, because I was trying not to put membership. Like I created, um, what was it? PayPal, Cash App, and I have uh, my uh, merch shop. You guys can go and check and things like that. So I leave all of this for you guys to, you know, any way you feel like you could support me. And I've seen some of you donate to YouTube. I appreciate that. But um, I was reading a comment somewhere and someone said, just create the membership anyway. I don't know. I'll think about it. Um, let me not waste time thinking right now because I, I just don't see the numbers. Uh, I don't want you guys to be giving me money and then not seeing the numbers. I don't know. I'll create it, but th there won't be anything special. That's the thing here. There won't be anything special if you guys uh, decided, let's say if I did put the membership, if you decided to be a member, Every single thing that I put on YouTube, everybody's going to see it, okay? Everybody's going to see it. You're not going to get any special treatment or you're going to see exclusive this, exclusive that. There won't be none of that. I'll create it just for the sake, maybe, if you want to, you have the money, you'll do it. But other than that, there won't be any special treatment. I don't want to give myself extra work to create exclusivity. I just want to do the thing, share it with you inform you of what i'm aware of you know you listen to my opinion you agree you disagree whatever that'll be it but other than that nothing special all right so let's see analytics before i go on twitter okay so the number is not so good even though i have a video every day 1800 plus views in the last 48 hours okay so let's go on twitter i believe i have yeah, there's my list here. I might create another one for Pure YTE, but for this one, I have about 13 tweets. This is the first one. These are the tweets I'll be doing for this video. About 13 tweets. All right, so let's go on Twitter. This one, I put it on the list, but it will be last. It's a LOL type of tweet. Okay, so there's this here. The, actually, this video that uh, we are seeing here, this one, I think it's talking about Will Lewis. Okay, I go in a little bit more details. I believe I read an article on that particular video. 
I don't remember, but I know I read the article making reference to him. So this one, I'll, okay, so there's not that many comments. I won't be spending too much time on it. Okay. This Will Lewis and Washington Post saga is dirtier than a Republican congressman getting riled in the pooper by a billy goat in an Airbnb basement off of 14th Street and Georgia Avenue. I don't know where she get all of that, but it's kind of funny. That's not the reason I put it. It's that. Okay. The screenshot she's sharing. By my estimation, we should be having a funeral for Washington Post around February 2025. Okay, so the Guardian wrote an article about Will Lewis, it seems. Okay, Washington Post publisher alleged to have advised Boris Johnson to clean up one dirty party gate COVID scandal. Okay, and PYTE, you might have an idea about that COVID party gate. I remember, I'm seeing the picture right now where during COVID, the outside they sitting, there was like a get together or something like that. W wh whose place was it? Was it uh, Boris Johnson's um, number 10? Or I don't know. But I remember seeing a picture of uh, Bojo at, and some other elected officials or whatever. So he's advising them to <laughs> remove evidence. I don't know. Uh, but I just wanted to share that only. Only the screenshot. Let's go to the next one. Um, the U.S. better be very careful with these people that um, Washington Post is bringing here. And I'm starting to wonder what is going on with uh, Jeff Bezos. If he's in some sort of a category where, you know, he's in trap or something. I don't know. What did he do? Did these people get him somewhere where, or maybe he was never, uh, I, I don't know. I'm just throwing my opinion here. All right, next tweet. The real tea in the U.S. Weekly article that Camilla was the second royal racist and Kate was thrown under the bus to protect her. Okay, so let's see here. For this, I really don't, from the get-go, I was like, I don't see, in my humble opinion, that Kate will be in that conversation. Okay? But who is she to tell a blood prince who to marry? I don't know. For some reason, I never really believe it was her, even though that, you know, guy went on national television to say who the royal races are. I really don't think it was her. For some reason, I always thought it was Charles and William. I don't know why. I always felt it was Charles and William. And now they're saying, you know, allegedly it's that horse woman. Maybe she's part of that conversation too. I don't know. But I don't see Harry will have a discussion with her about Megan, who he's going to marry. She is not, the, I mean, Harry read these people, Harry understand these people, so there's no way. The only person who could clarify this, I, I will not hold my breath on William and Charles to come clean on this. Even if they said, I will not believe what comes out of their mouth because they lie too much. The only person who could clarify this, it's Harry. Okay? It's Harry. And Megan is the third person who heard that, um, who Harry told that to. You know, as a residual, I will believe Megan who will clarify that. But I don't think they will. They said that thing, they, their truth in the Oprah interview, they said they will never talk about it, and then they move on. Heavy. Heavy said he will never talk about that. All right, so let's read some of the comments here. So KP and BP are fighting. Kate refused 
to correct the lie about making Megan cry and she expect us to feel sorry for her if Camilla is doing the same to her. Oh, <laughs> that is true. Also, how do we know that KP is telling the truth after all the lies they have told about Megan? Kate is not innocent. There's another thing here. All right. I, there's a lot of tweet right now that is going on about that Kate thing. I'm the one who's not sharing it. Okay. Now that I know she's fine. Her babies are, you know, are having a mother to raise them, whichever way she's going to raise these people, God help us, okay, because these kids are going to be part of our society, not all going to, they are part of our society, but um, they are just a baggage for God, okay, now that I know she's well, but I don't be, I, I, I'm trying my best not to talk too much about her anymore, because now that I'm aware she's okay. Okay, I don't believe that article. I think the throwing under the bus is the other way. Bond is definitely one of the races as is called. Uh, for some reason, I truly believe it's William and Charles. That's it. These two. William and Charles. In my humble opinion. I've always thought that Kate was the scapegoat for someone else. I suspect really, but the cow fits equally well. See, this person as well, okay, believe the same thing. Now, Harry will not have uh, protected Camilla there's that um that's true hmm i never thought about that that's a very good point now nah, harry will not have protected camilla yeah again i go back to william and and, uh, and charles let me see here to comment here harry never gave any names he said it would be very detrimental for the two senior royals yeah yeah that is true but like i said i don't think um like she said, um, the original, that tweet, where is it now? Harry will not protect Camilla. I believe that. I agree. Okay. And he made it abundantly clear who's the most powerful, skillfully manipulative, toxic person of them all. The one it's best to not attack directly. And he has another 400 pages to share at some point. <laughs> that is true. All right. Let me read some few and then get out of there. Okay. Whatever is here. Bottom up. The two royal racists both said they had cancer instead of apologizing for being racist toward a baby. Well, the second one who came with the royal, uh, with the cancer thing, what was it? It was after, um, what is it? After Peace Morgan have said who the royal races were. So they use that to continue with the with their lying, with their manipulative of the public. Could be. I don't know. I don't know really what's going on with these people's head. They can't live their true lives, but whatever. Yeah, I'm sure Camilla Parker Bull is the third racist. Third. That I believe. Third racist and Willie is the fourth one. Willie is the second one. Charles one, William second. They are the one. Okay? But the facelift lady is one too. And so is the tampon. Like I said from other videos uh, regarding the the names of uh, the races, Kate is definitely one a racist because when you look at and her family as well because when you look at the brother selling that the uh, whatever that Nazi kind of thing, I mean, whatever you may think of that, but I use that as an example which will make me believe. In my humble opinion, they are. But I don't think it was Kate who said anything about the skin tone of Archie. Okay? It's not her place to dare say anything about the blood royals. All right? The question is why did KP brief that Camilla is the royal racist? Oof, Camilla is going to be pissed. I literally cannot wait to see what happens next. Yeah, you see that too, but I can and do believe that Kate and Will aren't comfortable around people of dusky use though, especially Kate. By the way, Kitty has a habit of using Camilla when she gets caught. Ah, uh, we don't know. Allegedly. She also blamed Camilla for the Megan made Kate cry lie too. Camilla seems to be her go-to. I don't know. This... I really don't know, okay? These people, you know what? With that being said, let's just move. Because, again, I'm sticking with what I believe, but these are just uh, alleged allegations. So, we do not know for a fact, okay? Next tweet. But in terms of them being racist, yes, they all are. That is a fact. They all are racist. Their action, their behavior, and everything else. No one dare to speak up for morality. 
Okay, so there's that. Next tweet. Whoopi always drop. Okay, Whoopi always dropping knowledge every time she gets the last word. The view. This is a minute and twenty two seconds. Let's listen. No, no, but I don't know. I, I, and, and this is, you know, this is this bothers me to no end. Yeah. Because I I grew up. And you were allowed to believe how you believed. It wasn't really stuff you discussed with other people. You you had your beliefs. You had your religious thing. And if you were just like I was saying about the two racist uh, people, I believe who were the two. But anyway, that has nothing to do with this. But let's continue. Weren't religious? Nobody knew. But what I don't like, what I'm really starting to really get aggravated, and I have to watch my language <laughs> because. I think being an American is a great thing. Yeah. We have rights here that you can't get anywhere else. But I don't understand why you're telling me you're concerned about children learning things. One of the things that you don't seem to understand is I have the same respect for my child that I have for yours. Mm -hmm. I'm not asking you to believe what I believe. I'm not asking your kids to believe what I believe. Public school is public school. Miss everybody can go to public school. I don't understand why if you want your child to have a, 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 a religious education, send them to a religious school. Yeah. That there, that there's nothing stopping you. Get out of my pocket, get out of my body, and get out of my school. <laughs> That's spot on. That's spot on. Let me read maybe this okay whoopee wisdom brilliant she's one of my favorite humans i can't believe i just said so many things and then the thing was paused uh when i was reading this uh i think i was here uh supreme court of the united states uncle tom already has mentioned revising brown brown versus board of education what i was saying here is that we still have a chance okay come this november we have a chance to put the right people and position to question the Supreme Court because they are it seems like they are against our own values and the other thing that I've said is despite so many things we are seeing that's going on in our government and the US okay and the US I'm talking about we see it we're not blind we see some of the things that they're doing we know who's doing what so we're not blind they're not hiding anything anymore so we still have a chance to make sure to put a stamp on things and say no we're not going back we're not taking right away from people everything that the supreme court has reversed in a way as much i dislike it i'm glad they did it that way we could understand the value of our next election how important it is despite what we see what i saw going on in the middle east and i, I believe i said in one video in the middle is they are uh sacrificing themselves for us because they are boxing biden and uh they're really putting president biden in a box we have people within that's the thing here within our own government who are against our own values they're putting biden in a box where he has to make a choice and the choice we need to be understand is we as Americans need to put our mask on first before we could help others. As far as I'm concerned, the rest of the world is waiting for the U.S. to be on the same page that they want to go. The evil taking right away from people to manipulate people. We see what's going on with the newspapers in the U.S. where they're bringing in their BS people from the U.K. to put a blindfold, to pretty much blindfold the American with BS that's going on. So we still have a chance come this November and we better vote right. Because if we don't do it right, right now, my lifetime, okay, our great-grandmothers, our forefathers fought for what we have here. This is our chance now to fight for our great, great, great grandkids. Because if we don't do the, if we don't do it right this time around, it's gonna take generation to reverse everything. We we already have so many people who die for what we have now. We cannot let their death go in vain. I'm telling you this. <laughs> 
we better do it right. That's all I have to say. All right, let's continue. I watched the Sister Act 2 reunion video yesterday with tears running down my face. Such a great performance. I saw it vaguely the other day, but I didn't really sit and watch it. I started listening to the music and then other things popped up in my mind. I'm telling you, when you're on Twitter, you can't really stay focused on one thing too long. Okay, so many things popped up. All right, if you do not have a problem with the rainbow flag, then you should not have a problem with the Ten Commandments. Otherwise, you are choosing a side. That's true. All right, these two are connected, so let's read the top one first. Yes, she does. Imagine my dismay when I walk into a Louisiana, Louisiana public school a few years ago a few years ago and was greeted with a sign that said, quote, and God we trust, end quote. I immediately thought of the Supreme Court of the United States who allowed the pledge because, quote, it was it was tradition, end quote, even in violation of First Amendment. I guess many things need to be revisited. First of all, things that the Supreme Court have reversed, we need to fix some of those things. Yep, keep in mind, I'm Baptist, which is my de denomination. I don't impose my belief onto others. Okay, so that's that. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so that's that. Sussex Squad, what's your best guess as to why Kensington Palace step up the bad use recently? I was reading something where, I don't know if it's on this on the list, where one of the squad were saying that uh, uh, when you use certain key term and then you see a whole bunch of bats popped up or whatever, I don't know, did I share it on my community board or did I put it on here? It's somewhere. If it's not on the list, it's probably, um, I probably posted on my community board. If you really want to know what's going on Twitter, it's not everything I can put on a video. I do not want to be, you know, recording all night and editing. The editing is the problem. I could record all night. I don't care because I could sit and read all of these and stuff like that with my accent, sometimes mispronunciation. But um, my community board is another way to keep in touch of what's going on in the moment. If I'm not busy with my personal life, and I have on Twitter and I see something, I'll take screenshot and share them with you. So my community board is another way to see what's going on at the time when I post them. Okay? Otherwise, you're going to have to wait weeks before you see the videos. Because I'm scheduling them and I'll be going on vacation. So while I'm gone, there will be something for you guys to watch. But anyway, so let's see here. Um, I think an uh, aging filter has been used. You know, the Sussex Squad need to keep going to get the check rolling in. Oh, did you read about Marco and Epstein Island? What the hell? At Kensington Royal, your spirit, your spirit asked me to tag you. What the <laughs> It's the bad thing my spirit told them to tag you. Okay, so there's me here. Okay, plans plans number 9999 whatever not working they're using horses blueprint that is no longer valid the blueprint egg is using expired when his mom passed that i made sure <laughs> i always have a weird a weird way of writing my t uh my tweet die princess diana that is made sure to take it with her what i'm talking about is the blueprint what they use on her Okay, the nonsense, the tabloid, because she was fighting them by herself. So I'm saying she took that blueprint with her. So he, William, and Harry too, then have to go through it. Instead, he, which is William, threw her under the bus. Okay, remember when, she, when he called her paranoid? He threw her under the bus and snatched it from her and used it on Harry. You see, the problem that Harry's going uh, on right now, it's uh, William's doing many of it is william doing okay once his mom saw he was going to use it on harry she handed him a pile of crap to expose himself everywhere he goes people will be holding their noses because uh, he will smell like what he snatched from the dead mom the crap that horse used on his mom okay so that's just explaining the blueprint here he got to strike on himself the third one it will be the end okay the majority of the sussex squad the majority of the squad have moved on. The clickbait tweets are no longer triggered. That's right. Except for those who choose not to let go. Like I said, I didn't even read this. The other one. Now that I know she's well, I'm done with her. All right. Now she, when she, the real deal does happen, people are not going to believe her. 
Okay, the recent meal challenge was our most successful without attention from the squad, that family, and the voter are irrelevant. Life and Kali is peaceful. Okay, so that's that. Okay, silent is the ultimate weapon of power. Okay, let's read what that's an ad. Let's see this one here. What are they talking about? Researchers uncover coordinate campaign against Harry and Meghan on Twitter. What date is that? So that's all 2021. Okay, that's uh, Boozy who saw that. Let's go to the next tweet. Okay, so let's. Oh my god, this one is completely deranged. OMG, there's a laugh. Is it crack? Please tell me it is crack because what? There's that. The power of the Sussex squad is unmatched. So I saw this. I saw the original tweet of that too, by the way. That's the, that Yankee Wally person. This letter was posted yesterday and after two, after seven years of interaction with Sussex squad, I know thanks. A lot of thanks. And I have more than tens and thousands of screenshots. Soon, so, soon, so will the CEO of YouTube. Let's see what happens now. Thank you all. Okay, thank you all so much for your support, Wally. Sending something to, uh, what is it, to the CEO, YouTube CEO in California. And this is the letter that uh, she's using. And she says she had tens and thousands of screenshots. And that will fit in that thing. Okay. Wait a second, wait a second. I just, <laughs> the, there's the laugh here. So I'm done with that. I was looking at this. So where are... Uh, hmm. Isn't there a, a barcode? Okay, whatever. Let me read some of that. Yeah, I thought I was playing around when I said, quote, wishing you mental health healing. <laughs> I've always been dead serious about that. Oh, definitely. The, the UK needs help. The UK needs help. Homemade air mail envelope that isn't even necessary to... <laughs> And yes, I made my own airmail envelope. Just need a blue and red Bible. And hey, presto, save two, <laughs> two pound and forty nine cents. Uh uh uh. Okay, no dear Queen R. Is this part about the lack of zip code for me? While he needs mental health welfare check and benefit, this is so sad. What is that? Okay, I googled the address and there are no zip code. Okay. Okay, whatever. So let me move on. That's the Rangers thing the squad put, <laughs> bought, and it popped up on my timeline. Let me not waste time on that one. Next tweet. So there's that here. The question must be asked Is the toxic British tabloid press media a danger to Prince Harry's wife, Meghan? Me? Yes. Yes, it is. Well, let's just say there's a stage where they really almost got her, and then when she internalized the situation and brought it to Harry, and that put a stop to it. And she had the logic of thinking the well-being of Harry, knowing that what Harry went through with his mom and did not want to put that on Harry again because she knows Harry loves her. Okay? She knows she is being loved. Therefore, she didn't want to impose that on, on Harry. So, now that this phase, okay, where she wanted to commit suicide, that this phase was acknowledged and recognized and people and she uttered the word and she knows now the institution wasn't you know looking for her best interest so we are in a different space now we are in a different phase where her taking her own life is i and okay how will i put this because we do not know what other people think but at least the people she surround herself with are positive people so in that aspect, I think she's in good hand. The other at aspect of things is, like I said, with the WAPO, Washington Post uh, thing that uh, Bezos is bringing in into this country here. This is something many of us need to be careful because it could be any one of us. Okay, this is why I always say knock on wood, hope we never experience what she experienced. This is why I always say that these things, those people who's inflicting those unnecessary pain onto Megan and let's say um heavy and who else the one that who um what's her name the presenter uh, that was heavy's friend who committed suicide all of this okay we have enough experience 
you know, that happened before us to say we do not need this type of things. And hopefully we could put a stop to it. All right. I don't know. Jeff Bezos need a baggage so he could focus on what's right for him. And someone, hopefully he sells it and someone come along and put, put it in the right direction. Uh, I don't know what to say about this because they're bringing the BS here. This is the thing that I'm saying. They're waiting for the United States to be on the same page. This is why November 2024 election is very important. Because these people, evil, waiting for a, a spot to inflict pain. This is what all these people are about. Pain. So we need to reverse that. Make God reverse whatever it is nonsense that they want to uh, inflict over here. Because they want to spread their BS worldwide. The same way that about the colonialism. When you look at things that the UK have done worldwide. They're spreading it in a different form. These people are evil. When I say evil originate in the UK. Every day I'm being proved I was right. I threw it as a humble opinion. But every day I'm being proved, yeah, they are evil. Now they want to spread that in, in the U.S. And I hope, you know, professionals who knows the law, you know, help us, you know, put their expertise into, into action to prevent these people from spreading their BS. Okay, so let's read some of the comments. Whatever is here and that's it. Yes and yes, going on eight years now. Without global support, Harry and Meghan lives will be in danger. And that's why they are upset that their propaganda machine hasn't garnered these press bullies. The outcome they wanted, that's right. They're getting and see the British royal family aren't profitable and their popularity is down. There's the clap here. That's pretty much that. I'm curious as to why you think they are. She and Harry and Sunny California with family living their best life. But... <laughs> That's very interesting as well. I like to think that whatever they're writing a million miles away has no effect on her or the fam. The only folks reading the lies are other haters. And, and as you can see, many of the squad boarded on the timeline and things like that. And I try to bring my opinion and and those headlines as well. But this is why we have to knock on wood for ourselves for these things never affect us. Because we just don't know. If you never experience it, you just don't know. And we, we need to be very sentimental of those who's going through it. Empathetic of those who's going through it. Because someone's pain, you just don't want people to go to pain, uh, to experience pain. Because the body is not made to have pain. But these people are going out of their way to inflict pain. Whichever pain it comes. The UK is very good at psychology. I saying this so as much as we may think this does not affect her because she move away but you just don't know we just don't know and let's keep, this is why we have to keep on praying for them so they remain in their little bubble that they create for themselves to avoid this negativity so each time they throwing their nonsense at them it bounces back to those people who's throwing it but we just don't know. We do not know. The psychological of things, we don't know. We will never know how anybody think unless they come out and utter it for us to hear it and process it and understand it. So we will never know. We may think she's fine now, but we don't know what might, what might caught her attention. We just do not know. Again, our prayers need to keep on going strong for them. And for them to remain in the bubble. I mean, for some reason, I just don't understand how Harry was able to sustain that. Because he grew up in it and we know he was in pain. We know he was in pain. I really don't know how. He, he managed it. Uh, he internalized those nonsense tabloid. Because he, he, just like his mom, he was by himself. He was by himself dealing with these things. And this is why I believe he truly, truly loved Megan. And Megan, like the squad have said, rescue Harry. Because he was by himself over there as well. His brother, you know, part of the group who inflicting the pain to their mothers. And he's using it on his brother as well. So Harry was by himself, just like Princess Diana. And Megan came along and grabbed him. 
and said, you know, even though the brother pushed them out, but he didn't think that uh, Harry would leave. So, I don't know. This is something I, I really don't know. This is why every day when I read this stuff, I have different, <laughs> different um, perspective on things. All right, so let's finish with that. Okay, I like to think that whatever they're riding a million miles away has no effect on her or the family. The only folks reading the lies are other haters. Yes and no, but we just don't know if Megan happened to see one or two of those things and how she internal internalized those things. Okay, I'm curious why to think they are not. That's another thing here. Lying about a public person affects the social discourse with disinformation and destroy their reputation. That's why. So yes, they are a danger. They keep her in the news for profit, even if they have to make up stuff. There was one um, in one of the tweets that I said around when the docuseries came out, when she was saying they, uh, they want to kill her and all of that. And I said, these people are terrorists. So, and at one point, I think she, she needs to call them to, uh, I guess Harry's doing it now. What's coming up in January 2025 is, uh, you know, to call them into international court. I guess Harry's doing it. It's not the international court that I'm talking about, but he's still using the court system. Okay, what people don't understand is the senior royals, tabloid, medias, TV, the rangers, royalists, monarchy, etc. have tried their best to eliminate Megan. God said, not on my watch, that's for sure. If Tom Bauer can say it on public TV that Harry will not leave Megan until she, you know, no breath, what dies that says? <laughs> okay, I remember that. All right, yes, absolutely. Like I said, the UK is pure evil. This is where these people, you know, spread their nonsense worldwide. Absolutely. This is the last one, and then I go to the next one. Absolutely. They are the ones who started the hate campaign against Harry and Meghan that caused others to follow. Or, yes, that caused others to follow. And then when you look on mainstream media who monetize those things, what do they do? They allow these hate things continue. I don't know. At some point, the U.S. need to do something about that. All right. <laughs> Um, but people who talk positively about the Sussexes, they punish them. You see, I show you the, how much money I'm making. If, believe me, if it was for money, I don't think I'll be here. But, um, with those videos, but, uh, I don't know. They all complicit as with these issues. All right. YouTube specifically, uh, a lot of Sussex squad, positive Sussex squad channels. Okay. I've heard, I, I don't have time to watch many of these things, but um, I used to. I used to watch uh, to support other Sussex Squad channels, but I don't have time. If I do, I fall asleep. No matter what I watch, I'm falling asleep because I'm here all night doing this. But the thing is that um, many of those uh, social media and now, uh, you know, are part of the problem as well to allow you know, to give incentive to those who spreading uh, negativity. Okay, absolutely. The other ones who started the hate campaign against Harry and Meghan that caused others to follow along and do the same thing to them. I feel bad for Harry and Meghan because they are so vile toward them and all because they told their own story out of their own mouths. Okay, they, they all are baggage for God. Okay, the people who's throwing the hate, the royal family, they all are baggage for God. All right, that's for comment under it. Let me read these and then move on. Yes, they hope something happened to her so that Harry will come back into the fold. Yes, they are. All the hate is coordinated from the nasty British media and Royal Instead, and because supporters of Harry and Meghan pushed back at all their attacks and made lies about Daily Mail, they are also trying to discredit and attack us, supporters of Harry and Meghan. They did count on us all coming together. Okay, absolutely. Okay, so that's the one I wanted to go into. And then I'll go to the next tweet. Okay, absolutely. The other one that started the hate campaign against Harry and Meghan that caused others to follow along and do the same thing to them. I feel bad for Harry and Meghan because they also vowed toward them and all be because they told their own story out of their own mouths. Okay, so this one I black. I don't need to see. I actually feel bad for the royal family. Harry and Meghan are so vile toward them. Oh, shut up. Oh, please. Oh, there's two comments under that. Let's see here. 
you know what let me respond all right so this is what i said if the royal family then started then started first let's put that then started first harry and Meghan will need to correct the lies the royal family spoon fed to the british media the royal family or baggage for god whichever he say fits best for all of them on that island all right so let's black that one too you feel bad for them but why can't they just mind their own business harry and Meghan haven't spoke anything after the oprah interview after the docuseries after spare harry and Meghan haven't said a thing they've been quiet but since then, we've been hearing non nonsense nonstop for like eight years. All right. So that's what I mean by they haven't said anything. That's after all the documentary spare came out and everything like that. That's what I meant to clarify it. All right. So let's go to the next tweet. All right. The Oprah interview was because of all the lies they were saying about them. So they had to correct it, making people believe other than. All right, next tweet. What is this about? Okay, this is the so-called expert who said the Sussex squad is a danger. He sent critics who didn't like his book, Gift Wrap Pigs Anuses? What the hell? Calls himself a PR genius, LOL. Could never match up to Hollywood agent. It's easy to be successful when the bar where you are is so low. What the hell? Okay, so this the image of him. Okay, the fame formula received mixed with you. The Guardian said that the fame formula is a terrific, witty warmth through the often dirty undies of the Hollywood fame factory <laughs> and draws some interesting conclusion about modern day celebrity culture. But a harsh critics from the Scotsman's Book Club led Borowski to respond with a gift wrap with pig anus for each of the reviewers. A stunt bow from one of the publicists in the book, Jim Moore. Moran. Oh, whatever. <laughs> but let's see here. Jack Royston allow himself to be used. Shameful Newsweek has no professional journalism standard. I mean, anything from the UK. I mean, uh, don't need to, uh, don't even need to give a second look with the exception of byline as of now. Okay. As of now, because at some point I could see where maybe a uh, byline will be sold to somebody. And then that person will be one of those haters who wants to continue the misinformation. So as of now, whoever's running byline now, byline time, by uh, byline news, you know, the ones that usually break the stories about, let's say, but then Wooten and some of the real stories. Okay. That byline time. As of 2024, they are the only reputable kind of information coming out of the uk other than that i don't see any um uh, any papers in the uk should be uh give any form of uh respect or anything these experts need to have a closer look at their dying monarchy so there's that i'm not gonna click on it that's uh some uh, is that a video tiktok.com what is that Leave it to the British press to take a story that should have been an absolute layup in terms of coverage and mess it up this badly. It's really telling to me that people call me a Kate Middleton hater, but what I said was she looks great and it's nice to see her back. To compare that to royalist news outlets who just can't help themselves. They have to take what... Okay, it's five minutes. I don't think I'm going to share everything. If you are on TikTok, go on it. This is one thing for with the Sussex Rock. All we wanted was for her to be well. That's it. She's back. Now she's well. We move on. Okay. So this is five minutes. I don't want to waste my time too much on this. Go on TikTok and watch it. All right. I'm back on this. Never heard a PR expert give advice about a fan base. <laughs> like really. Everybody in Hollywood is laughing out loud. If this person was, uh, you know, successful in his own right maybe he is i don't know because i don't follow a lot of people their concern will not be fan base what in a way yes you need to worry about your fan base but someone else's fan base that <laughs> this person seems to be concerned about your fan base you should you know make sure you cater to your fan base yes but someone else's fan base you're worrying about that's a problem Okay, the squad is going to find every dirty things about this guy. I said drag, <laughs> drag him, squaddy. Ah, I'm not about that. If anybody bring anything under my timeline, it's worth sharing. I'll share it with you. I don't have time for this. Okay, apparently our danger is getting famous enough 
that others listen to us, that's all the men said, there's the life here, and that would be a danger to the lives of the British media. That's pretty much it. Okay, vile individual. So the trash man, he should learn to keep his crappy opinion to himself. Don't nobody care what he thinks or feels. If they do, then they are trash. So, okay, so let's go to the next one. Okay, so there's that. Since mom, oh my god, this is so funny. And I think someone did put the video. Uh, it was uh, someone on TikTok that put the original calling uh the royal family some sort of uh, uh trailer trash and give a different names or whatever so this squaddy which i follow is using the same tone uh, kind of thing i think there's one of them yep the next tweet will be the video since mama t passed away that's queen elizabeth roy carlton and linda are working hard to crash the trailer mama t worked so hard to keep i'm just laughing connor and stacy left them all behind connor and stacy that's <laughs> that's megan and harry as for jenny lynn well the good lord knows the lifetime comma she and colton earned trying to run stacy off the road <laughs> Jenny Lynn went missing. <laughs> you, you should know by this one now. Jenny Lynn went missing and some thought Carlton had done her and this. The trailer park busy. Busy been telling anyone who would listen for years about the pillow fight. So not surprising. But Linda been trying to tell us and the only way Linda knows how that she was just getting refitted. Okay, we feel it. LOL. I'm seeing the guy telling that story about that family as I read your tweet. LOL. Two people like it. That's an ad. I have no idea who these people are, even though I totally understand who those people are. Okay, I think the guy who came up with the name was from a TikTok video. I came across two of his vids right here on Twitter. Yes, Twitter, not X, Y, and Z. All right, so that's that. Let me go to the next tweet that has that uh, trailer trash thing. But listen, okay, but I will be putting screenshot because there's a video. I can't let it play. Okay, so there's that here. Okay, an uh, honest royal reporter. That was June 19. Now this is a royal expert. All right, so this is a different one here. The royal family wasn't nothing but white trash, didn't I? Didn't I? I told y'all all about Mama T and her two favorite grandbabies, Colton and Connor, and about how they daddy Roy unlived their mama Allison so he could marry that no good homewrecker Linda what left two trailers down. But now I'm here to tell y'all that the fits done hit the shan since Mama T passed away. Roy done got the cancer, and if you ask me, that's just karma for what he done to Allison. I think Connor and Stacy done left the family, because ain't nobody heard nothing from them in several months now. And Colton got himself in some hot water on account of Jenny Lynn went missing. Then the other day, they started blaring Leonard Skinner on the surround sound down at Roy's trailer. <laughs> and the only time they do that is when somebody gets married or somebody passes away. And since Jenny Lynn was missing and Roy got the cancer, we just assumed one of them had done kicked the bucket. Turns out some distant cousin's husband had shot himself in the head and they just wanted an excuse to listen to Freebird. Honestly, I can't say I blame them on account of it's a damn good song. <laughs> and now Jenny Lynn done showed back up a couple days ago. Turns out she is away getting treatment on account of she got the cancer now. And I know Roy's ass had something to do with it. Just watch. By some miracle, he gonna turn out not to have the cancer no more. And y'all probably gonna think I'm crazy, but I know it was his doing. <laughs> anyway, there's too much damn drama in this trailer park for me to keep up with. So y'all drop a comment and tell me what y'all think. And don't forget to hit like, share, and follow. <laughs> if I was on Twitter, I would have. <laughs> oh my God. There's that here. Yes, indeed. He is all up in the world family clan business, there's the laugh, and has brought us up to date now, and I'm still agreeing with every word. Yeah, he's definitely a royal watcher, lol, there's the laugh, I'm crying. Okay, I like the names he gives them, <laughs> Jenny Lynn. No one can call him for defamation because he's using completely different <laughs> names. <laughs> Next tweet. Alright, let's pause this. I'm putting this here because I'm proud of it. Okay, so she retweeted that. School me. Okay, so this is the, the tweet here, the screenshot she bought here. School me. I think you will find we already have. <laughs> oh no, don't worry. We've been schooling you. There's the laugh here. It was good to see it playing out in real life. Okay, I don't, um, 
I wasn't reading uh, her tweet, so I don't know. The kid will describe what you just did as nasty work in a very nice way, flawless, period. All right, as you should be, nice work. Okay, I'm retweeting because I'm proud of you. Send them to the tower. <laughs> okay so there's that but then bam all right so that's that now i think we somewhat off of royal talk here these are some lol tweet tweet left that has nothing to do oh maybe this one please let me be around when that family's lies are exposed to the world i don't know i thought that was funny <laughs> praying that when karma does strike so he's around to see you know how it's happening it's coming let us pray Hell yeah, only thing is, I'm 65, so there is that. But I prefer it soon, I have great health, so far, so bring it on. Sam, see you in 20 years, count down, and 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, comma, has lift off. <laughs> okay, amen, and soon. Soon, I give it less than a year, the veil is lifting. Amen, and me too. Okay, so I haven't really followed too much of the other side, like I said at the beginning of this video, I've been doing a lot of things, go out, hiking, and do all sort of things. So I don't know what is being said over there. Next tweet. Oh my God, this is so funny. I'm just going to keep the screenshot here for you guys. It is so funny, those two twins. Okay, grandma had to call an emergency meeting. She said she don't play. She quit school because they had recess. She quit school because they had recess. That's the laugh here. 2 minutes and 49 seconds. Let's listen. Immediate last minute meeting. Let's listen. Look at their little faces. They look so cute. Now, I call this emergency meeting. This last minute meeting because grandma is a little upset. I gotta give them credit though. But they stay quiet and listening to her. <laughs> Those twins are famous now. Their little faces are so cute. The original plan was for y'all to go home today. I was supposed to have my house to myself tonight. Get my wine and unwind. <laughs> now, I can't do either one. Because y'all still here. Now, I don't know what your parents had up their sleeve. <laughs> but they claim they'll be here tomorrow morning and get you. But they need to be here tonight before midnight. You know what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? Because I don't play. <laughs> Look at I that. quit school because they had recess. <laughs> Now I'm tired now. It's time for y'all to go on. <laughs> look at them. Don't look at your brother. <laughs> I'm talking to you. It's time to go home. It's time to look at your own mom and daddy. <laughs> it's time to look at your grandma. <laughs> I don't. I don't know where they at, but they need to be here. <laughs> you wait. They need to be here and get you. It's I like, I'm not going nowhere. It's like, look at that little faces. They are so cute. Do nothing. Nothing. Because y'all still here. Do you hear me, Roman? Do you hear me? I'm sick of calling these meetings now. And next week we ain't have no meeting because y'all ain't coming. <laughs> I'm locking my door. I'm not even answering. <laughs> not even answering the phone. I don't care. You want to die whatever. Well, man, I don't care about you looking up inside that wall trying to ignore me, but you, you hear? You, you hear me? Uh, hush. <laughs> right now while I'm talking. Grown folks are talking. Stay in a one-year-old place. You ain't no full child yet. You ain't fully developed into a child until you five. You ain't a full development child. <laughs> Oh my God, Grandma love it, her grandbabies, even though she's talking like that. I know she does. <laughs> but they're so cute. Look at them. Where the hell are you different? Oh my anyway, God, look at his eyes. <laughs> like I said, y'all supposed to be gone. And you're still here. Still here. Now I can't have my wine to unwind. I need my wine to unwind. Okay. I'm dying. <laughs> Look at his face. Look at his face. <laughs> oh my God. They are so cute. When they look back at this video, they're going to be cracking up. But your mom and daddy messed up my time. <laughs> I thought I was going to be on the grind. Oh my God. Y'all still here with that pooping and crying. <laughs> pooping. So, just shut up. <laughs> no, you got y'all got something to say? Got anything to say? Oh my God. You got something to say, Roman? Julia? You ain't got nothing to say? 
food. Now, we're going to have something a little bit. We're having baked chicken and rice. If you don't eat it, you're out of luck. You're stuck like Chuck. Thank you. I will have to show some part of it when they're talking. Back to the grandma. Okay, nobody. Granny, I need my wine to unwind and dine. But your mama and daddy messed up my time. I thought I was gonna be on the grind, but y'all sitting here still with that pooping and crying. I'm sorry, she, she could um, rhyme. <laughs> Look at that little face, I know. <laughs> Double trouble. Oh, yep, that's me here. Double trouble. They're like, it's not our fault our parents didn't come get us. You stuck with us. Oh, there's more. I didn't see that one. Oh my god, I could watch them all day. Don't talk trick. Okay, three minutes and three seconds <laughs> with that diaper. <laughs> they are so cute. Let's listen. I didn't see that one. All right. All right, y'all. Go to the back and get some towels right quick. We're going to have, we're going to try some uh, Luigi's Italian ice. We got mango and strawberry. But shit, y'all know what I'm talking about. Stay right there. Don't touch it. I'll be right back. Don't touch it, Roman. I'm going to get a towel right quick. I'll be right back. Don't touch it. They listen. They understand. Look at them. They didn't touch it. There will be screenshot in between, but they're watching the ices. They're not touching it. Wow. Oh my god. I, there's a either a washing machine or something is running, but they're making they're dancing to that sound. Wow. Very interesting. They didn't touch it. It's a uh, don't touch trick. They didn't touch it. They listen. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Someone is tempted. One of them is tempted. Uh-uh. Still didn't touch it. <laughs> mm -mm. Uh-uh. One kicked it by accident. Uh-uh. But still didn't touch it with his hand. Uh 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 one touched it wiped it on his shirt uh, touching touching put it in his mouth this one put it in his mouth uh 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 he felt uh uh She put it on a towel, by the way. Uh-uh. The other one is touching it. They fell. They fell. Oh. He wiped it, though. He then put it in his mouth. The other one is... Forget it. He's gone. And he's looking back. All right. Uh-uh. Who turned it off? Who did? Who did this? Who knocked it off? You did that? Did you taste it? <laughs> What's on your finger? <laughs> What's that on your finger? Look like you moved at your spot. Because uh, you weren't sitting way to the front like that. Who touched this? <laughs> did Roman do it? Hold on. Roman, you did that. <laughs> but your finger wet. His finger dry. <laughs> that finger is wet. <laughs> Put it in his mouth. Smith. Roman, who ate it? Who turned that over? Not him. He's not. Oh, okay. All right, guys. We got to eat some Italian ice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me see some of the comment. Let's see here. They actually did really well. She just kept them waiting too long. Yeah, she said she was around the corner watching Cracking Up. She has way too much fun with these boys. I told you. I didn't even see this one when I was, um, the first video I saw it. But this one, I didn't see it. I knew she loved her uh, her babies, her grandbabies. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. There's the life, yeah? Okay, so that's that. Let me not waste too much time on that. If uh, if I was on TikTok, I think I would have followed her. They look so cute. They're going to look back at this. They're going to be laughing. Okay, this is my next tweet, and that's my last one. Black Twitter has two bonds, and she like this tweet on behalf of so Papua loving grandmothers and babysitters who raised us. When I read this, the first thing that came to mind was, uh, what's his name? Chris Evan. 
the one that I always call uh, Twitter Encyclopedia, because he knows everything about uh, whatever is going on on Twitter. Uh, he has a way of, you know, bringing up receipt really quickly. So that was one tweet that he put. I believe it has to do with uh, uh, his grandmother who used to watch him. Something like that. I could get it. I probably get it wrong. And I think I shared it in one of my videos. Old videos. Is that um, either his grandma used to watch him. And uh, his grandma used to uh, watch soap opera. So when people coming um, trying to bash on the soap opera stars or whatever she... Uh, he knew growing up when his grandma used to watch him. So he's always defending those soap operas because of his grandmother type of thing. So that's what popped up, uh, that came to mind when I saw it. Okay. So there's that. These three actors are dear colleagues of mine. They have more class than you. Low life can imagine. We are going to black your racist. That's the word here. You got that. That's the word here. All right. So that's a uh, actor who's, I don't know what's the who he's responding to but is this one uh is the the caption of the retweet that got me black twitter has to bonds and she like this tweet on behalf of the soap opera loving grandmothers and babysitters who raised us okay so so uh i guess when uh, growing up when their grandmothers and babysitters used to watch them they used to watch those uh, soap operas you know to keep them um uh, I don't know, distracted. Okay, so there's me tagging Chris Evan here. I thought that was your tweet for a second. I remember you posted something close to this tweet about soap operas. LOL. Lord, he can come to the cookout. Okay, I got his plate ready. All right, so there's more tweet, but, you know, I, for me, I thought that was kind of funny. That's it. Um, let's do a prayer. I don't usually do prayers here for the left behinders, but since I sort of mentioned Heavy and Megan, let's do a prayer for them. Prayer for, let's say prosperity. Let's just say protection only. Protection. Okay, let's see here. Lord God, Heavenly Father, you know that we are set in the midst of so many and great dangers that by reason of the frailty of our nature, we cannot always, let's see if it continues, if I could say, oh, I guess this is it. Nature cannot always, okay. Is that the tweet that I was reading? Lord, Heavenly Father, you know that we are set in the midst of so many and great dangers that by reason of frailty of our nature, we cannot always stand upright. Grant us such strength and protection to support us in all danger and carry us through all temptation to your Son, Jesus Christ, Lord. Amen. Okay, so that's that. Please take a moment. Let's see. Bedtime prayer for the protection of family. Okay, I didn't think of that, but since it's here, let's read it. This prayer was written by author Rebecca Barlow Jordan. Lord, I pray your emotional, physical, and spiritual protection over my kids, grandkids. Keep evil far from them mm -hmm, and help them to trust you as their refuge and strength. I pray you will guard their minds from harmful instruction. And mm -hmm, that's very good. Okay, I pray you will guard their minds from harmful instruction this is the thing the psychology these royal vats the papers are playing on people like we were saying uh, i was saying in this video all right and grant them discernment to recognize truth i pray you will make them strong and courageous in the presence of danger recognizing that you have overcome and will set right all injustice and wrong one day like i was saying at the beginning of this video we still have a chance to make things right with what's coming up in november that's very good help them find rest in your shadow as they live in the spiritual shelter you provide for them let them know that the only safe place is in Jesus and that their home on earth is only temporary. That is very true. I like this prayer. Okay. I think I'm going to take a screenshot, put it on my community board for you guys. Okay. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link and a Cash App link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. And don't forget to check my shop and see if you like some of the things that um, I have there, some of the, my merch and uh, help support this channel. Thank you for your support.
Vanaka. It is a great privilege to be with all of you today. You know, we want we ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back. for the better.